as prices continue to rise, 7 News is helping you and your family make ends meet. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the car industry. Car manufacturers have spent the last year unable to keep up with demand, pushing up the cost of new cars. At the same time, used car prices have skyrocketed as would-be new car shoppers turn to the used car lots. With the cost and wait times that come with getting a new car, many are keeping their current rides for longer. The average car on the road right now is 12 years old. Reporter Natalie Fami tonight explains how being proactive can help keep your repair costs down as your mileage goes up. It was supposed to be just a couple months and then decided it wasn't worth getting another car. Krista Heffernan says she and her husband Kevin used to have two cars, but about a year and a half ago, they got rid of one. And Heffernan says with car prices surging, they decided a second car was not a necessity. It's actually been quite nice to not worry about gas for two cars, insurance for two cars, parking for two cars in the city. Heffernan tells me before getting rid of the second car, the cost of the repairs were becoming unbearable. They had said, you know, maybe $500. And we we're like, okay, that's not that bad. And it came back, ended up being $1,000. And we we're like, all right, that's it. Rocky Kasulu from Kasulu's Automotive Services says many customers come into the shop and say they never expected to keep a car for so long. It's just the norm today that you can't get a new one, so we need to fix the old one. Kasulu says to save money, be proactive. He says if you hear or see something that may be wrong with your car, don't hesitate or wait to get it checked. Do your annual maintenance, you know, look for things. Uh, if you hear something, um, there's probably an issue you want to address before it's too late. According to AAA, common repairs on modern cars cost between $500 and $600. Kasulu says that average is going up. Cost of inflated and your repair bills are considerably higher four, five, six years after the vehicle is new. Kasulu says it all comes down to the supply chain. He says even getting things like washer fluid is difficult and twice the price. We can't get stuff as fast as we need it and when we do get it, uh, we're paying more for it. Unfortunately, the consumers the one taking uh, the blunt of it. And Heffernan says ditching that second car wasn't as hard as she thought it would be. The accessibility of the city, it's more accessible than you think. You just have to plan a little bit around it. AAA recommends setting $50 aside each month to cover routine maintenance and to deal with unexpected issues. Natalie Vami, 7 News, Buffalo.